good my lovelies lovely soul empress here coming to do the weekly energy check for my earth signs september 5th through uh september 11th so we're gonna take a look at what's coming in for you guys <clears throat> spirit can you show me what's coming in for taurus virgo capricorn from september 5th to september 11th please taurus virgo capricorn Okay, at the bottom of the deck, it says, Greatness belongs to those who have mastered the ability to focus relentlessly on their ambitions and act decisively towards them. Okay, so there's, you may be trying to manifest something into your reality, but there may be a need to focus more. There could be a lot of distractions or people trying to sway you away from something here. You also have, love was never absent from our lives. It is not bound in our hearts or in our relationships and thus is not capable of being owned or lost. We have allowed our awareness of love to diminish. That is all. So something is taking you out of your frequency. It feels like something to do with your heart chakra. This could be some of the distractions. Like let's say you're having, um, you know, you're trying to start a business, but you're having relationship issues. Like it could be taking you away from what you need to be focused on right now. When our hearts yearn for action and growth, we should care little about what society says is possible or prudent. And this could be, you know, like, let's say you're coming into your spirituality, but there's, uh, you know, a thing about being judged, like you may not um, be ready or spirit is trying to push you to get to the point where you could be more open about your beliefs. Okay. And we do not need to wait for perfect conditions. We will find perfection in progress. There's also something here about you waiting from some type of external action to take action on what you want to go after. Spirit's telling you, you know, um, yes, be cautious, but continue the path. Don't um, stagnate yourself or waiting for something outside of yourself, okay? And we must not lose the urgency of this moment as it begs for us to begin something grand and important. So you could be giving your power away, waiting for someone to give you permission from some type of situation. Let's get an enchanted map. If you're getting an intuition about something being the time is now, but you're waiting to see how somebody else responds, that's what Spirit's talking about. Can you show me, Spirit? So the first card you got was commitment, and this could have to do with your relationship, or this could be the commitment you have to a project that you're trying to see come into fruition. You also have here flying, okay? So um, there could be a need to ground, okay? Something also could be getting ready to take off, but there's a distraction that's preventing you from achieving, you know, all that you could from a situation because you're pausing on something external, okay? And, you know, you got movement here. So whatever it is that's, um, that's like slowing you down, you need to shed that. Be willing to shed that, leave it up to spirit, okay? And then slow and steady. So you may not be seeing the progress every day, but it's coming in. And spirit is preparing you because they don't want you to be in some type of stagnancy or waiting for a sign like the sign has already been given to you. And then goblins. So these are the things or the people or the distractions preventing you from focusing on what you're supposed to be committed to, which is already starting to happen. Okay, so that's why spirit's trying to get your attention. All right, we're going to take a six card spread. We're going to take a look at what's going on. I got a couple new decks, so we're going to crack them right now uh this one is uh dragon realms okay so we're gonna start with this dragon realms and see what's coming in from my earth signs september 5th through the 11th please spirit can you show me with clarity and precision what my earth signs need to know for september 5th to the 11th okay earth signs taurus virgo capricorn please one card, please. What is the situation for my Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, my earth signs? Thank you. And what is it that's coming towards them at this time? What's coming towards them? Thank you. 
And what is it that's falling away, please? Can you show me what's falling away from my earth signs, please? Thank you. Can you show me also what is it that they cannot see? Thank you. Oh, let me just move this out of the way. Can you show me also what is the truth of the matter for the earth signs, please? Thank you. And what is the most likely outcome, please? Thank you. At the bottom of the deck, you have the lovers, okay? So there's a choice that needs to be made and most likely in love. You have the Knight of Wands here, okay? So there could be somebody coming in and out of your life or this could be like you needing to stand firm in a direction because the Knight of Wands can take action and then think about it later, okay? And the Eight of Swords underneath that, somebody's, uh, you know, really stuck in their head about a situation. All right, so I'm gonna get this other deck, which is the, uh, the Cosmic Coven. Spirit, can you tell me why this uh, strength card is here for my Taurus Virgo Capricorn, please, for the week of September 5th through the 11th, please? One card, please. Thank you. You got the chariot upright with the three of pentacles, okay? So... You could be having some resistance to moving forward in some way that has to do with a collaboration. So there could be stagnancy in a collaboration or this could be some type of defensiveness or you're trying to move something forward with this chariot. Maybe you're actually trying to move or maybe this is a blockage. Like let's say if you're dating somebody at a distance, this could be a blockage in getting together. But either way... Um, it's like resistance to forward movement in a collaboration that's coming out three, you know, the three of pentacles is here coming out cross. So it feels like there could be stagnancy in this collaboration or there could be the energy of not knowing if this is still a viable collaboration. Now for what's coming towards you is the moon. Okay, so this could be some type of secret. This could also be some deep deep desire okay with the king of pentacles okay so this is about stability this is you taurus virgo capricorn maybe your deepest desire is this stability maybe that's what you're trying to achieve there can i have one more please can i have one more please You have the Empress in reverse, okay? So there could be something that you're, and the Emperor in reverse, okay? So for those of you that are dealing with another Earth sign, Sun, Moon, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, this person could lack some type of emotionality. And the Empress and the Emperor coming out next to each other, but in reverse, can be talking about something that's taking you both out of the frequency. There could be one or both of you that are very in the material right now, very looking at like what can be accomplished and what could be built, but there could be something lacking in the frequency of love or the way that the Empress and the Emperor relate to each other. Now, for what's falling... Um, What's falling away, you have here the Five of Cups crossed, okay? So there's some type of crying over spilled milk. There's a frequency that has been stuck, okay? Because it's coming out crossed, so there's some difficulty. It's like, let's say you have a perspective on a, a situation that you've had with your partner or with someone else. It doesn't have to necessarily be romantic. They could have a different perspective where they're also crying over spilled milk, but no one is seeing each other's perspective. And you have here the Queen of Cups, okay? So um, there could be a um, Cancer Pisces, a Scorpio involved in this situation, or this could be you feeling your emotions deeply, but not wanting to show. So let's say you and your partner are both um, mirroring each other and have this deep emotion, very much care about the situation, but can't communicate. Okay, and the Ten of Swords. Now for some of you, there could be a commitment that has gone south because there's a Queen of Cups who's involved and is trying to pull on someone's emotions to stop a, <clears throat> excuse me, 
to stop a connection from coming to fruition, okay? Especially since you have the lovers on the bottom of the deck, the lovers usually indicates a choice. Now, as far as um, what you can't see, you have here the two of cups, okay? So spirit, why is this two of cups here? Can you show me? Why is the two of cups here? Can I have one more, please? So this is the four of wands. Okay. So the moon card here. All right. So this two of cups, there's soulmate energy in this connection. With the moon, there could be some type of secret okay and a deep desire and with that comes the four of wands so peace and harmony and love there's a strong connection here and something is being illuminated now for some of you right let's say you're the empress or the emperor there could be another party involved that is taking you know this relationship out of their frequency even though you know, there's a loving connection between the two of you. That could be the stagnancy and it could be coming into fruition. As well, there could be um, a vibe of like not knowing where this collaboration is going. The Empress and the Emperor are in some type of uh, miscommunication. There could be somebody helping here to come to bring some type of commitment with the Hierophant here. You also have commitment up here. So there could be some talk about getting committed okay but the devil is underneath that it could be to try to uh, rectify the frequency of this emperor and empress in reverse but maybe it's not so much genuine so like let's say somebody proposing to um, rectify a situation but maybe their heart isn't in it okay now you also have here the nine of cups so it is someone's wish fulfillment spirit can you show me what's with this nine of cups here why is this nine of cups here for my taurus virgo capricorn for september 5th through the 11th okay it feels like there's uh an outside interference or a mirroring some type of stubbornness that isn't permitting two people who are in love to see on an eye-to-eye -eye basis okay why is this nine of cups here for my earth signs taurus virgo capricorn september 5th through the 11th justice something's coming into balance and somebody wants it to come into balance okay it could be a libra you have uh, the chariot here cancer you have the strength card here leo emperor aries empress uh libra and taurus right so spirit why um give me one more for this justice card and the king of swords okay so somebody is using fact and logic okay could be a, a, a gemini libra aquarius that's involved in this situation but some th somebody wants to bring in balance here okay they're going to use fact and logic you also have here the um the hangman okay so let's see what that's about spirit why is this hangman here with the two of pentacles and the cosmic coven and the hierophant there is uh some type of juggling of two ideas two paths two situations okay and i'm getting the frequency of like somebody holding some information back at this time okay it has to do with commitment and the five of wands so one person could be waiting to hear what this other person plans to do in regards to whether there's a commitment still here or not. I feel like you could be the silent one, the one that is observing, okay? I also feel like it's somebody's wish fulfillment, but there's still an undercurrent of conflict. It may be a disagreement as to how you work together or if there's... um there's a third party it could be saying that this third party is the stagnancy all right so we're gonna take um a kipper spirit can you show me what else do my earth signs need to know september 5th through the 11th please got occupation it could have something to do with someone's employment house 
or it could be a situation with somebody that they work with. Family room adjudication with message at the bottom of the deck. So let's take a look at that. Occupation, spirit, why? Abundance, okay? So I feel like uh, something could be coming into fruition or these are this emperor and this empress, they make, you know, have good careers, okay? Love is at the bottom of the deck too, right? So what is the problem, spirit? Why is this house here? with relationships i am attracted to those people who serve my highest good and they came out crossed okay so there could be somebody in this relationship who is working on a lower frequency and this is causing the relationship to be out of balance family room in the upright please spirit regret i know that i cannot change the past so somebody in this connection has made some bad choices and it's causing some type of stagnancy in moving forward I'm here thinking back in time when love was only in my mind, right? You got adjudication and blame. So there's something here. Some of you, it could be a divorce or there's some type of working through some issues, okay? And somebody, you know, could be projecting this outwards because they don't want to accept some type of failures here at the bottom of the deck. They could be concerned that you're seeing them as a failure or they're worried about how something's going to turn out, okay? There's also the health card. Somebody could be going through some type of depression, okay? There could be the need to forgive a situation or maybe you're realizing and you can't forgive a situation and with this doubt here i feel like somebody is doubting the um the strength of this union spirit can i get a love and romance for my earth signs So at the bottom of the deck, you have love yourself first, okay? So there's some type of need to put what it is that you're trying to accomplish ahead and allow this person the free will to determine whether they are still on your path or not, okay? Or this could be you trying to determine whether you feel like they're still viable to be on your path. Now you have this deception card here, Spirit. Why is deception here? Can you show me? Deception with Cupid in reverse. Okay, so there's not enough love in this situation anymore or there's something, you know, um, like let's, because you have open for love and Cupid in reverse with deception. So you could be wondering why there's a stagnancy in your relationship. It could be because someone has, else has gotten the eye of your partner or there's someone open to love somewhere else and you're wondering what's taking this situation out of frequency. You got playfulness in the upright spirit. Why is this playfulness card here for my earth signs, please? Wedding bells and twin flames. Okay, so I feel like, you know, this could be a relationship that have been together. There could have been conversations of marriage, but it never really came into effect. It feels like somebody else may have been trying to come between a union. Now, this doesn't only have to be a romantic partner. Like, let's say this is a, a family member who opposes a, a union, okay? But there's an outside influence that is causing a problem here, all right? You also have trust here as well. Spirit, why is this trust card here for my earth signs? Can you show me? Divine feminine. And uncharted territories of, territories of new love, right? Unconditional love. So this could be you surrendering something to the divine allowing the universe to show you what is right for you which i actually love that even though it feels like there's a lot of uncertainty around you and even though it feels like it could be weighing on your heart okay you could have had a particular outcome that you wanted and this could be making you feel like you're unsure okay and then you have children here you could have children with this person spirit or this could be happening with a child spirit can you show me So, um, you know, there could be a need to go back to play, playful-like energy, okay? But it says your love life is being affected by children. 
it has look for the signs and then children comes out again with passion and listen to the songs of your soul right so this could be a situation where you have a child with somebody right maybe they have children somewhere else or there's a question of if there's another child on the way right but i feel like there's something here about the passion and fun times and unrequited love okay so i feel like if you're in a long-term committed relationship this other person maybe that has been trying to intervene um is causing some type of stagnancy now you do have yes here with unrequited love and fun times so it feels like it's possible that um someone in this relationship realizes that there's not enough here to um to keep a relationship alive and goes in a new direction with take my hand and the date is open okay um but it also could be that this person okay has someone and they're getting rid of them because they're recognizing that there's some type of stagnancy that's caused in the relationship because of this third party, whether it's romantic, whether it is, um, you know, meddling family. Okay. So you have message here with happily ever after and change of heart. So I feel like whatever's the interference, it will be going away. Okay. I feel like, uh, it's going to come to an end, but it feels like spirit is, is reminding you not to stay waiting for some type of decision for someone else, okay? It's like you're giving away your power. Spirit's saying, move in the direction that you want to move in. And if this person wants to be part of your life, then they will make themselves known. They will take the action that's needed. But you're not to stop what you're doing or what you're trying to achieve to give this person more time because I feel like the more time you give them, the less they have a need to act on uh, the outcome of a situation, all right? So that's what I have for my earth signs. I just wanted to say thank you to my returning subscribers for coming through and spending a little time with me. And if you're a new viewer and you felt that I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment as I'd love to have you as part of the lovely soul family. I'm wishing you all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste, gang, gang. Bye.